Welcome back to the show, guys. Today, I would like to talk about a comment that I've seen on somebody else's YouTube channel. Uh, Augustine Ramos, he's another trucker. He has a nice YouTube channel. He's, uh, he's funny at times, he's serious at times, he's trolling at times. You know, he pisses a lot of people off, but he speaks the truth. The man is super genuine and super authentic and that rubs a lot of people the wrong way. Um, but something he talks about is, uh, you know, why not having a girlfriend can be an advantage at times. And he talks a lot about why not having a car can be an advantage at times. And he's absolutely right, okay? Depending on wh where you live, you guys hear those jets? I like the jets. So, from uh, we're right down the street from um, Luke Air Force Base. Luke Air Force Base, Phoenix Metro area. So, anyway, the comment was making fun of Augustine, talking about, oh, this guy, this guy talks about having no car and no girlfriend is is a flex and they laugh at him, right? And this is like, I've seen this comment multiple times on his channel, okay? Multiple times. So, the fact that so many people in their 20s and even 30s think you need a girlfriend to be what a man to be successful uh, or a car I mean depending on where you live yeah you have to have a car uh, Phoenix you're not gonna get away with uh, living in Phoenix without a car okay um, Los Angeles would be very hard San Bernardino Riverside very hard but if you live in New York City if you work in New York City, if you live and work in San Francisco, if you live and work in Miami, like downtown Miami, no, you don't need a car. I mean, you could go without a car for a few years and stack cash, and that's a great, great idea to do, right? I just don't understand. See, the problem is a lot of these 20 and 30 year olds, they can't put themselves in anybody else's shoes because they have no perspective, right? Um, I might not understand that people can live without a car unless I've been to New York City. I've been to San Francisco. I've met people that live, work, and play within, you know, five blocks of their house. So, you know, if you live in, in that walkable, they call them walkable cities, then hell no, you don't need a car. And you probably shouldn't have a car, right? When you're building a life, when you're building a business, when you're building that emergency fund in the bank, that six month emergency fund that you should have in the bank, no, if you could get away with not having a car, if you could get away with not having a girlfriend, a wife, kids, student loan debt, yeah, yeah, get rid of all that shit, you know, I don't understand why so many people, well, I, I guess I do understand why so many people feel the need to bash this dude, Augustine, or anybody else, I mean, there's other people that have been on YouTube talking about, uh, or laughing at people that don't have cars, don't have wives, don't have houses, it depends on what you're trying to do in your life at the moment, right? I have a motto I wanna share with you guys. And it's ever since I went down to prison for a really long time and I did a lot of soul searching, I did a lot of uh, 
I did a lot of studying on what was going to help me succeed in life. And one of the things I came up with was a little mantra or a saying or a quote or a rule to live by, whatever you want to call it. Do the best you can with what you have in the moment, right? Do the best you can with what you have in the moment, right? So for instance, if I have the choice between eating out of a plastic dish or eating out of a glass dish, I'm gonna choose the glass because it's healthier for me. If I don't have a choice, then I'm gonna do the best I can with what I have in the moment. If the only thing I have is plastic and I'm gonna starve if I don't eat on plastic, I'm gonna eat on plastic, right? Do the best you can with what you have in the moment, right? If you only have time to accomplish one goal today, then you have to do the best you can with the time that you have allotted to do that goal, right? So if Augustine Ramos has the ability to live at his parents' house for a few months and stack some cash, why would anybody be knocking that, right? Why, why would you make fun of him? Oh, I know exactly why you'll make fun of him. Because you can't do that, right? You know, people made fun of me multiple times when I decided to park my semi-truck and sell it and get a local job for a while, all right? Everybody talks about you don't got no neck for OTR trucking, you're not built for OTR trucking, you're not a real trucker, OTR is a lifestyle and you're obviously not cut out for it, blah, 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 right? No, man, it's not that what I was doing was so wrong. It was the fact that the people that were making fun of me could not do it. They could not park their truck and go get a local job. They could not sell their semi truck. They were so knee deep into debt. They were so stuck. They had no alternatives, right? So when you see somebody that's able to go live with family for free for a while, you're jealous. You are jealous or you're hating for whatever reason. Now, now you might not want to go live at home with your parents to stack cash, but I guarantee you wish you didn't have that wife spending all that money and not working. You wish you didn't have all them kids that you have to support still because they won't go get a job or the jobs that they do get don't pay them no money because they never went out and got a career, all they have is a job, so you're still footing the bill for them, you know? Yeah, you might not be quote unquote jealous that he's living with mommy and daddy, but you sure are jealous that you don't have options to do what you wanna do, right? So just just a little something to think about, something a little something, a little something to chew on today. I want you guys to think about that. You know, if you could get away with not having two, three, four, five cars, if you could get away with not having that five house bedroom or five bedroom house, you know, if you could get away with not living in that really, really nice neighborhood, you know, if you could get away with it, if it's safe for you to live somewhere else, if it's, if it's not too far away from your job or your family, then go take advantage of cheaper living situations. And don't get mad at other people that are making the sacrifices to get ahead in life, right? I don't care whether you're trying to chase a dream, you're trying to stack dollar bills in the bank. Either way, it's the same thing, you know? Living with family could help you Oh, school zone. Slow it down. Slow it down for the school zone. If you could either make less money to chase your dreams or you could make more money and save more money to chase your dreams or to pay off whatever your dream is. When I say chase your dreams, you know, that could be paying off credit card debt. That could be saving for a car. 
That could be saving for a piece of property. That could be saving for a, 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 a boat, a jet ski, okay? It could be saving for a trip to fly across the country to go visit family that you haven't seen in 30 or 40 years or go fly across the world. It doesn't matter what your dream or goal is. If you could live with your family to obtain that goal faster, if you could give up your car or one of your cars to obtain that goal faster, if cut if you have to cut up the credit cards, if you have to get rid of your wife, get rid of your girlfriend, you have to understand is your dream having a girlfriend right now or is your dream owning a house, right? Is your dream opening that small business or is your dream paying for your girlfriend to go out to eat every single weekend? It, everybody's got different dreams and everybody's got different goals and everybody's got different income levels, right? I mean, for rich people, for rich people, man, I'd be seeing some weird stuff out here in Phoenix, man. My goodness. So for some people, depending on your income level, maybe you already have a wife and a girlfriend, right? But maybe you want to step it up in business. So you got to give up the girlfriend. You might keep the wife, but you got to give up the girlfriend, right? Or maybe, you know, if you're a wealthy person, because a lot of people will get on the internet and talk about, well, if you weren't broke, you wouldn't have to worry about picking and choosing. Okay, well, first of all, the people that are really wealthy are probably not on YouTube telling guys like me, you know, what to worry about, what not to worry about. So those comments on YouTube are probably from people that wish they had money or they act like they have money because they have a bunch of credit cards. So, but on a higher income level, We might, we might be talking about giving up the subscription to the private jet, right? I'm sure, see, that's what's crazy about income levels. There's levels to this game, okay? There's levels to every game, okay? Like, if you're, if you're homeless, there are homeless people that have skateboard, that, that don't have any transportation. Then there's guys that have bicycles. Then there's guys that have mopeds. Then there's guys that have cars. But these are all homeless people. But there's still levels. When I go to the lake, when I go to the lake, there's people sitting on the shore on their lawn chairs. Then there's people sitting on the shore with their jet skis. Then there's people sitting on the shore with their boats. And then even if you have a boat, there's different levels, okay? There's that $4,000 boat. There's that $40,000 boat. And there's that $400,000 boat. And all these people are in the same lake talking to each other, drinking beer, getting drunk, having a good old time, but there's still levels to all of this, right? So you might be a wealthier person listening to this right now, but you could still learn a lesson about what I'm talking about. If you're that, well, if you're that person that makes 250 to $450,000 a year, you still might have things that you could give up that will help you reach that next financial goal, right? Maybe you have a subscription to a private jet. Maybe you have a subscription to a helicopter. Maybe you have that, those two or three vacation homes, those, those, uh, those rentals that you don't make no money off of, but you have two or three extra rentals that you only go and stay at maybe a month at a time, right? Maybe you need to sell those extra houses. Maybe you need to sell that ex those extra cars, okay? Maybe you gotta get rid of that extra girlfriend. Maybe you gotta cut off them children that are just mooches, that don't make any kind of income. All they do is live off your income, right? Anyway. There's something to chew on for the rest of the day. I hope you got something out of it. Subscribe to the channel. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you got something to add, go ahead and, and comment down below. You know what I mean? I like to hear from everybody. That's how I learn. 
I take other people's perspectives, other people's experiences, and then I I put it into my life like Tetris, like I'm like a, like it's a jigsaw puzzle. You might give me a piece from your life that doesn't fit in my life. I might give you a piece of my life that I've learned and it doesn't fit in your puzzle, in your life's puzzle. You know what I mean? You never know. All right, I gotta go to work.